Namaste, Vika Air Signs, Grand Rising. Welcome or welcome back to Big Cat Astrology, Big Cat Wave, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, Sun, Moon, and Rising. The planetary hot topics to add to your almanac over the next seven days. On the 7th of November, the moon in Virgo sextiles the sun in Scorpio. This energy makes it simpler to unwind and feel more comfortable in your own skin. Now is the perfect time to address and deal with any relationship issues you've been experiencing, especially with someone of the opposite sex. It's also a favorable moment to promote yourself and request favors. Refer to law 13 of the 48 laws of power before proceeding. People will, will immediately recognize your self-assurance and balance focus. On the 8th, Venus enters Libra. Venus moves into one of the signs it naturally governs. You'll discover it's a more straightforward way to to interact with others some individuals will utilize the remaining days of autumn to embark on romantic um, journeys okay <laughs> um, this is an excellent period for sprucing up your surroundings selecting stylish autumn attire and welcoming love and affection into your life also mercury in scorpio sex styles Pluto in Capricorn. Research and investigation become your area of expertise for the day. This is an exceptional day for ambitious pursuits as, as this motivating alignment provides you with the determination, willpower and shrewdness to make significant power moves. Don't hesitate to strive for success. On the 9th, the moon enters Libra. It invites you to adopt a more cheerful and open-minded attitude and strengthens your desire for peace and harmony. Partnerships, whether in love, business or friendships, will be at the forefront of your focus. Be receptive to making new acquaintances. On the 10th, Mercury in Sagittarius squares Saturn in Pisces. Mental discipline is the order of the day. Challenging mental work is, is best done solo dolo. Um, negative thinking could lead to misunderstandings when conveying your plans and ideas. Don't rely on others' words and exercise caution with your own. While studying or organising your paperwork, pay attention to detail. Take your time with crucial decisions and negotiations. When it comes to contracts, business matters or legal affairs, seek guidance from trusted professionals. On the 11th, Mars in Scorpio is opposite Uranus in Taurus. Exercise great caution during this accident prone phase. This day carries an unpredictable energy that may provoke recklessness. Avoid impromptu road, tr road trips and hasty entanglements. Um, rebellious impulses and are not the, not the order of the day. Try, try not to react, darling dears. Try to implement small changes with wisdom. On the 12th, the moon in Scorpio is opposite Jupiter in Taurus. This alignment brings forth positive feelings and generosity, but also entails a lack of self-control and unwanted attention. Your positive vibes can turn sour if others perceive your kindness as vulnerability. Be mindful not to let your excessive generosity be exploited. Being less guarded about your emotions and personal life can invite meddlesome busybodies. This transit may pose more challenges for those struggling with self-control, overindulgence or substance abuse. You might 
also experience emotional turmoil or sense um a sense having the sense of being out of sorts on the 13th the new moon at 23 degrees and 43 minutes in the fixed sign the fixed water sign of scorpio utilize the new moon in school new moon in scorpio the eighth house to enhance your life the new moon in Scorpio plants seeds of transformation in your life. It's a time for becoming aware of the baggage you've been carrying from, from the interactions with other people. However, it's an ideal time to seek a psychic reading, consult a therapist or visit a tax accountant. Pay your taxes, darling dears. Pay your taxes. You, you may also find success in hiring a private investigator. Mm. to uncover the truth behind something that feels suspicious. Trust your instincts and seek evidence. In, in essence, the new moon in the eighth house encourages change and transformation aligned with the pursuit of truth. Please stay tuned in for the tarot reading to follow. Be careful, wave. a six and a five darling dears the energy of the six is about cooperation maybe somebody wants you to cooperate with them or they, them with you mm -hmm. it's also also a reminder to take care of your health your health is your wealth stop putting off booking that gp appointment or that full body check out it also speaks about somebody maybe hitting you up telling you about their own personal prognosis at this moment in time darling dears it's a time where you need to be looking after your own your own health right this is about you finding time for yourself darling dear you need to find your time for yourself and people want you to cooperate or you need to be in cooperation with your mind body and soul darling dear you also have the energy of the five this is about your security yeah because your health darling dear is your wealth it's your foundation without your health you have nothing 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 at all trust and believe mm -hmm. it's also speaking about um you're gonna have to make a major decision in the not too distant future darling dears so make sure it's you're taking care of your health and it's not a decision based around your health mm -hmm. or whether a situation is healthy for you darling dears maybe somebody's coming in because they've got a health issue and they want what a nurse with a purse mm -hmm. pay attention to the in messages darling dears you heard the confirmation you have the energy of an 11 darling dears on the pythagorean chart it only goes from one to nine so we've got to break it down from the 11 11 as you know is a master number it speaks about um spiritual guidance being highly intuitive darling dears listening to your inner voice it's about self-improvement and teaching others how to be as you are darling dears. everybody has different paths but you can still relay your journey mm -hmm. the energy of a, the 11 goes down to a two so your birthday could be the 2nd, the 11th, the 20th or the 29th, or that's a big, significant day for you, darling dears. The numbers you'll be getting along with over the next seven days are the 1s, 2s, 4, 5 and 6, or a combination of those, darling dears. Your luckiest days will be Tuesday, Friday and Saturday, and the number 2 is associated with the letters B, K and T. Mm -hmm. in numerology the number two is about partnerships it's about unity it's about dreaming the same dream darling dears the number two is ruled by the moon the moon is cancer as well as pisces energy 
The two in numerology does speak of cooperation, darling dear. Somebody wants you to cooperate and maybe you're going to have to use some diplomacy. And what? sometimes you have to know when to watch and when to act, darling dears. Mm -hmm. The energy of the two is ruled by the high priestess. The high priestess, again, is moon energy. It's about your inner voice, going within, learning everything from within. It's also about secrets, darling dears, a secret that is about to be told. Something is about to be revealed to you, but it's going to be more your intuition, which is going to tell you how it goes, darling dears, more than what's going to come from someone's mouth, because the liar will always be a liar. Mm -hmm. The energy of the 11 on the tarot cards, darling dears, is the justice card, Big Cat Libra energy. So this is going to be, um, because somebody is in a position where they they deserve a stable relationship because they've worked on themselves, moon energy, gone within, dealt with your inner child. You've, you've managed to balance out your light and dark side, darling dears. Mm -hmm. If it's a court case, it's about to go in your favor or some kind of HR situation, or I just heard a car, is it car insurance or somebody hitting your car? A fender bender. Mm -hmm. This is about you being confident, darling dear, at this moment in time. The justice is big at Libra energy, as I said, the seventh house of contractual partnerships. It's also the house of open enemies, mm -hmm. which will be revealed to you over the next seven days. Maybe not by their mouth, but by their actions and your intuition. Love it. Mm. The moon rules the areas of the stomach, the breast, the spleen, um, membrane, as well as the brain, darling dear. So, as I said, if you've been putting off a medical checkup, it's time to go and get yourself sorted out, darling dears. But never you ever have an operation on a full moon. Remember I told you that? Mm -hmm. Not unless it's a dire emergency and it's, listen, even then, you know, but I'm not a... Um, I haven't gone to school for medicine, darling dear. It's my own personal opinion. You are free and you have free will. All right. Love it. I don't hate it. Let's get your rune stone. Thank you. Oh, you have Algaz. Algaz is represented by the moon card in tarot, darling dears, and it's on its face. So it's a, a, a danger that you don't see, darling dears. Somebody's going to try and hide a secret or their ill will towards you. They're going to try and keep it secret. But I said, this is why it's always best to be the big cat in the room with the quietest mouth. Watch people's actions, never their words. Mm -hmm. uh, this is a definite warning for some, darling dears. And for others, Algaz is about spiritual protection in an upright you need to beef up your spiritual protection, clean out your house with um, sage, um, boil lemons. Yes, boil lemons. And then put it in, let it sit overnight, put it into a bottle and spray it all around your room. That gets rid of negative energy. Mm -hmm. A salt in every corner. I use him pink Himalayan salt, darling dears. Uh, as I said, I've told you many times, I've got the peacock feather over every doorway, darling. Is if you come with it, it's leaving with your blood. Mm -hmm. It cannot stay here. But this is about you spiritually protecting yourself. Protect yourself, darling. Just claim dominion and call back your energies from where, wheresoever it's gone to, darling. Dears. This is the time. Mm -hmm. The moon card. It's also telling us, darling, dear, that ugh, a false friend... Because on its face, false friend, secret enemy, all about to be revealed. This is a cycle that you will not repeat again. Why? Because you understood the assignment, darling dears. It's about what? Sorting the wheat from the chaff. And there's been a lot of chaff. Mm -hmm. Algaz is represented by the letter A. Excuse me, I will play. It's the letter Z. Excuse me, please listen. Allow me, yeah. Allow me. I've got a lot of things going on. Right, the letter Z, but I said A, so A must be prevalent for you at this moment in time. And the numbers um, 18 as well as the number 15. Mm -hmm. This is about higher knowledge or somebody, somebody refuting your higher knowledge, trying to say that it's witchcraft or that you're crack on crazy. Well, you know what? Stay in the crazy gang. Right? You're blessed and highly favoured. 
If you've got haters, you must be doing something right. And if it's a whole gang of them, let me tell you something. Keep it up, darling, dear. You've got star power now. You've got groups and gaggles of haters. Mm-hmm. Love it. I don't hate it. So it's the letter Z, A, B, K, T. The fortunate numbers for you will be one, two, four, six, and eight, or a combination of such. Um, the dates, the day, days of the 2nd, the 11th, the 20th, and the 29th will be of import to you, darling dears. Mm -hmm. And avoid the numbers 5 and 7. Could be a birthday, a door number, or maybe um, oh, registration, beginning of a registration number, not the third one tri twice removed, darling dears. Okay? Right. Let's carry on. Let's get your Oracle Ancestral message. We're going to use the Mermaid Oracle deck. Solitude, darling dears. It's also a reminder that what rejection is protection. You are being diverted to a new path, but the solitude, in solitude, you learn to love thyself more than anything. Why? You're your best friend. You know what's best for you in every situation and circumstance. This also speaks about, it's like the Virgo, the hermit card, darling dears, isolated from a situation because of betrayal, but it gave you a chance to know thyself. You had to go through the DNS. Listen, I had to look over my right shoulder way because I'm the red light, green light champion and the dark night of the soul should only be experienced once. Many people have gone through it many times, but me? Mm -mm, mm -mm. Those dark, dark days, no nah, blood. Not for all the tea in China. But in solitude, you get a chance to listen to your own thoughts. Your thoughts are not being corrupted by anyone else. You've got no naysayers mm -hmm. and no frenemies. But something is about to be illuminated to you in your solitude, darling dears. An answer you've been waiting for. All of this choppy water is at your back, darling dears. Like I said, there's a number of people or one person in particular that wants it with lean, with you, darling dear. They want all the smoke. Mm -hmm. This is why you was isolated. Not everyone can go with you. But it's a new beginning. This is a fresh start because you're taking the time to do self-examination, which is which will lead to self-improvement. This is about you balancing your dark and your light, your yin and your yang, your masculine and feminine energies. A new beginning, darling dear. Mm -hmm. Yeah, due to some kind of dishonesty, the person, the people, are person, they're not the same age as you. There's an age difference, but this. Solitude is going to bring about a change for the better in your life. One more card, please. Yeah, relax. <laughs> relax. Being in solitude doesn't mean you have to be a cat on a hot tin roof, darling dears. Not in there tormenting yourself with your conscious mind. In order to relax, you have to master the mind. Get to your subconscious, which is where manifestation mode is. It's also the dream state. I'm seeing fishes here, even though this is the mermaid card, but I'm inclined to talk about Pisces, darling dears, the 12th house, the 12th house of higher spiritual knowledge. It's the, it's the house of um, spiritual maintenance. Mm -hmm. It's also the, also the house of um, oh, um, hospitals, prisons. But it's about transcendence, darling dears. And it also, in the upright, a secret is about to be revealed to you, darling dears. So relax. You don't need to seek the answers. They'll come to you one way or the other. In your quietest moment. Some of you are going through water therapy. You find it therapeutic being in water. I love going to bodies of water. I could just sit next to the ocean all day. Matter of fact, I do. When the progeny were young... They love. They still love the ocean, but if they wanted to go in, they had to have armbands plus a rubber ring. You don't want to go in the ocean? That's no problem. But if you want to go in the ocean, armbands and rubber ring, listen. I'm not a Baywatch lifesaver, darling dears. No. This is why I trained them, so that they're able to what do life-saving, darling dear. When I get in the sea, they circle me like sharks, darling dear. They're supposed to. Mm -hmm. 
face of the deck. Your feelings count, darling dears. Always speak your true emotions. Never you ever let anyone carry you down, even if your voice is shaking. But it's also a reminder for you to what? Have emotional maturity, darling dear. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Your feelings are your feelings. And yes, they you can express your feelings, but you can't expect anyone else to feel the feelings for you. Mm-hmm. Except your ancestral team. The feelings that you have about a particular situation that you have to what? Isolate yourself from and learn to what? Enjoy your own self again. Be in yourself. And remember, whatever the situation was that put you into this isolation, solitude mode, darling, is you'll never be that person again. You are big cat now. Reborn. And up for it. Oh, gosh. You know, sometimes when, well, ladies, you know, sometimes you're wearing a bra strap and all of a sudden it starts attacking you for no reason. You've been friendly all day. I've been friendly. <laughs> Let me get a deck I haven't used in a while. I use the witches. Tarot, base of the deck. We've got temperance. So it's about patience. Somebody needs to be more patient with their self as well as others. You've been on a difficult journey. Mm -hmm. Temperance is Sagittarius, the energy, which is um, the ninth house. It's about expansion. Sagittarius is ruled by Jupiter. So somebody's going to be expanding themselves or broadening their horizons, darling dears. But it's about managing your time as well as your money. Mm -hmm. Nothing wrong with broadening your horizons. Maybe you'll be immersing yourself in different cultures or actually traveling to different cultures in that, in order to broaden your mind. It's also about um, eye education. Um, Jupiter is about luck. Luck through expansion, darling dears. Jupiter rules the hips and the thighs. Okay. But it's about, because when we see the temperance, you will find honest companions, darling dears, but you have to be the truth teller to yourself first and foremost. This is the ending of a conflict in time in your life, darling dears. This is the final furlong. But as you know, it's the final furlong of a situation that you've overcome, but there's, there'll be another mountain for you to climb. But this time, you realize that you are an earth angel and you are spiritually blessed and guided. And this is about you keeping the peace. Don't let no one take you off your trolley. Your natural happiness. Yeah. Someone is about to be left out in the cold blood. Their finance is funny. Their, their health is not right. But it also speaks about you leaving a situation. Finan finance, financially harassed, darling dears. Yeah, look at this. Going from the five of pentacles in the deficit to the ten pentacles in the upright. This is a new beginning, an inheritance, a new job, new idea. Your health is looking good. This is about you being loyal to yourself. And you're going to be meeting new soul tribe over the next seven days. Base of the deck, yeah. Clarify the justice card. Because in the reverse, this is a karmic cycle that's on the rinse and repeat. Clarify the justice card. Ending of a partnership, yeah. Somebody's ending a partnership because they felt stuck. There was no room for you to grow in that situation. Mm -hmm. You feel as though you were sleeping with the enemy. The partnership could also be business. It could also be a friendship, darling dears. But it was the best thing for you to do. Take your loyalty and your skills on the road. Pentacles, yeah, you made a sound decision. Right? High Priestess in the reverse. We just discussed the High Priestess. Right? You made a decision about someone who was trying to keep a secret. But you know what? You rip the band-aid off, the plaster off, darling dears. This is about you moving forward at a hot trot. This is to, in order to get over a breakup where you lost a lot of time. This is you finding the 10th cup on your own in emotional alignment, darling dear. 10-10 means breakthrough. Yeah, it's always darkest before the dawn split the deck. Yeah, no reason to feel guilty about a situation, but someone st is still emotionally stuck on you. Clarify the Ten of Cups. Why is somebody still stuck on the big cat who's minding their own business and getting great? Mm. Yeah, destabilized foundation. This person chose the company of others. This is a gossip. This is somebody who felt they was better than you, Queen of Cups. Yeah, he was loyal to this person for quite some time. Yeah, it's a knife's edge. Maybe you had to seek legal or medical attention around this person or these people. Mm -hmm. But it was no healing. It was always tongue wrestling, lots of passive aggressive and gossip going on behind the back. And it's clarified by the King of Wands. Yeah, current energy. This They like compliments. They like to be complimented, right? 
world card on its face even but they've never done anything worth being complimented about and it speaks about oh, somebody's watching you on the world wide web you've got the knight of wands and the hangman in in the reverse this is about someone seeing a situation from a different standpoint the king of wands and the queen of cups speaks about highly how highly intuitive you are darling dears but it's about you moving from a situation that was fickle flighty yeah and standing your ground wounded warrior but your spiritual strength is what got you through mm -hmm. but you need to what protect yourself get the sage burning in your house or whatever incense you like ring bells in every room boil lemons put the lemon water into a spray bottle once it's cooled down spray it around your room your house yeah somebody's very very pressed pumped and perturbed darling dears undecided over a situation yeah but you've released the burden of the situation somebody's still in the thick of the situation darling dear but you're moving towards the ten of pentacles a new healthier beginning a, ha a better outlook realizing that you are the only one that can make yourself happy devil energy they're obsessed with you darling dears five of ones be careful of your physical well-being as well because there's also a chance of a fight a possible possible physical fight yep Ten of Swords, which is going to cause injuries. But God says, what does God say? Wash your face like David. Don't get involved in someone else's argument, darling, dears. And God forbid you pull out a camera and start video. And what's the point? Keep it pushing. Stray, stray, um, taba. A stray, pow, pow, um, bang, bang. Yeah, I have to speak in code. Mm -hmm. Don't get involved with the people that want to argue and fight. If a fight breaks out around you, head out. You don't care what's going on. Nip it in the bud. Again, the Ten of Swords falls out. Yeah, you're going to get over the situation that was meant to break you, darling, dears, because you've realised that you can bring the balance back into your life. This is also you no longer being as trusting as you used to be going into a situation. Just discard in the reverse on the Nine of Wands. Not everybody's going to be able to get your loyalty just like that. You're an air sign, for goodness sake. Yeah? Air sign is about the mental. Air sign is a highly spiritual sign. You get your downloads in your dreams, darling. There's the intuition you're being pushed. It's about you reclaiming your personal power. Mm -hmm. Setting your intentions, right? And always having clarity in your thinking because your thinking is not being muddled by other people's energy. This is why the solitude is here, darling. Dears. Thinking for yourself. Nothing wrong with that. We all need to think for ourselves. Mm. So your money's looking good. Your health is looking good. But you've got a bit of drama on the horizon, darling dears. You don't have... Not every battle must you attend. Right? Not every battle. Yeah, start seeing, you're starting to see life from a different perspective. You let go of situations that no longer serve you. Again, we've got the justice card in reverse, darling dear. Situations and people that were unjust to you, darling dear. Yeah, look at this. Um, The judgment on its face, darling dears. Someone's going for it. Bitter and twisted, lots of negative energy. Queen of Swords is an older person, possibly a female. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you're going to give to who's going to give to you equally in the future, darling dears. And you're going to listen to your intuition going forward. Your loyalty is like a rare, rare gem, darling dears, or a VIP club. The invite is rescinded whenever you say so. This is your nurturing, darling dears. You're going to choose who you are loyal to in the future. What's this? Yeah, two of pentacles. Many of you are leaving a situation solo, dolo, like the boys or girls on the pole. Releasing the burden of the situation. I see someone leaving a job, darling dear. Lots of injustice in the workforce. Yeah, page of pentacles. If you're leaving a job, you've got opportunities coming towards you, darling dears. Opportunities you can trust in because you're making the right choice to leave. Take your skill set on the road. Don't stay where you're tolerated. Go where you're appreciated and celebrated, bestie. Air energy. Five of swords. Wash your face like David. You don't want to be in all of that politics. You're not being paid what you deserve in that situation when you can earn this. Letting circumstances go. Right. Let's get a final deck. Some final messages. 
And then we're out of here to get great. Let's make up the deck. Final messages for my air signs. If it's on the floor, then it's coming through the door. We've got yin energy, feminine energy on a number two. So it's about your intuition and your discernment, darling dears. You may even be hearing of a pregnancy. The number two could also speak about the mistress energy or a jealous friend. But somebody is going to be revealed to you, darling dears. Protect your spiritual well-being. Base of the deck. The higher power has a hand on your life, darling dears. We've got the two and the four. This goes to a six. The energy, the numerology of the six is what? Teamwork, darling dear. You want true harmony. But you know what? You're only going to go where you're being accepted at this moment in time. A higher power has a hand in your life. Bringing out this nurturing feminine side of you, darling dears. But it's also buffing up your psychic gifts. Mm -hmm. Be prepared for serendipity. Series of fortunate events, darling dears, which you truly deserve. And I'm seeing some of these flying, darling dear. Flying. Could even be to Ireland. We've got the 18 moon energy. Be careful of whom you tell about your journey. Don't talk about it till you get back. Yeah, because all they'll do is create chaos and confusion. I told you, somebody wants to fight with you because you've changed. They want you to be so flexible that your back is bent. Listen, listen, my back chuckled. Nah, mate, not after two epidurals, blood. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You can always chew and change direction, but never bend over backwards to please, please, appease or please anyone else. On that note, I drops me mic. Told love to my Teesprings, my patrons, or simply come back here or go on over to my TikToks where I also upload videos. If you'd like a personal read, please hit me up in the Gmail. All of my intel is in the description box below. And as I always say, don't get smoked. And don't smoke yourself. From the ashes, baby. Namaste. Libra. Until we meet again on these Paris streets, God, God.